Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In this practice problem, we're told that there's an object submerged underwater. And objects that are submerged under water have a buoyancy force, and they also have a weight. We are told that the weight is equal to 97.89 newtons, which rounds to approximately 100 newtons. And we aren't told the buoyancy force. We're going to need to calculate for that. We're told that the net force is 50 newtons. And I know that the buoyancy force must be less than the weight because the object is sinking. So I know that the net force must be in this downward direction. I'm told that the net force is equal to 46.57 newtons. I'm going to approximate that as 50 newtons. Okay, so if the net force is 50 newtons in the downward direction, there must be an upward force of 50 newtons. So I think this buoyancy force must be approximately 50 newtons. And buoyancy force is equal to the density of the liquid times gravity times volume of the object. Okay. And that's key to remember. You need to remember that we're talking about the density of the liquid and we're talking about the volume of the object. Now, why do we use the density of the liquid? Because the thing that is causing this upward force is the fact that this amount of liquid is displaced. So the weight of this displaced liquid is trying to get back to where it once was. It wants to be there but there's an object in the way. And so the displaced liquid is essentially pushing on that object saying, get out of here. That's where I was, right? And so it's the mass of the liquid that we're dealing with with the same volume as the object because the object displaced that liquid. Now, the density of water, you should memorize this, is 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. Gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, and we're going to round that to 10. So 1,000 times 10. And the volume of the object, in this case, that's what we're solving for. So 50 equals 10,000 times volume. If we divide by 10,000 on both sides, we get 5 times 10 negative third meters cubed equals volume. Taking a second look at our answer choices, we realize that answer choice D, 4.75 times 10 to the negative third, is closest to our approximation of 5 times 10 to the negative third. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, feel free to enroll in our free MCAT prep course at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.